Trump administration has actually had a small win in Pennsylvania court. Uh, so now this is one of Donald Trump's challenges uh, to mail-in ballots. According to Bloomberg, the Commonwealth Court Judge Mary Hannah Levitt ruled on Thursday that Pennsylvania Secretary of State Kathy Bookvar lacked the authority to extend a deadline for uh, ballots that are cured. So now this is a little complicated, all right? Uh, but basically, it has to do with mail-in ballots that were counted after a certain uh, point. Uh, and so these ballots did not have identification attached to them. So uh, the Trump administration decided to um, sue over an extended deadline for these ballots. Uh, and so they took this to court and, um, well, I mean, they ended up winning. Uh, so now the ballots, uh, what this ruling basically means is the ballots uh, from voters who submitted missing identification between November 10th and November 12th cannot be counted. So in the scale of wins, it's actually really small, okay? Uh, and so ballots with cured ID issues received before that date were not segregated, were not challenged. Uh, and so, again, it, it really is a, a small number of these votes. Uh, the second extension was deemed invalid. Uh, so now, basically, how many uh, ballots are getting thrown out uh, as a result of this? Is it enough to overturn the outcome of the state? No, no. State officials have said that suits over defective ballots cannot change the outcome of the race, to which Biden had a lead on Thursday of 55,978 votes. So that's a lot. So Pennsylvania is... 100% Biden's, they're not doing a recount. That's it. Sorry, not sorry. Nonetheless, Republicans are hyping this up as like a win for electoral integrity. And that's actually what I want to talk about. So now, this is RNC Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel Romney. Here's she, what, she, uh, what she said in a statement. She said that the victory, uh, or I'm sorry, that this ruling is a huge victory for election integrity. She called the state's three-day extension for providing IDs a, quote, cut-and-dry, brazen power grab by Democrat official trying to tip the scales in Joe Biden's favor. Wait, wait. <laughs> Understand what she means. Giving voters additional time to come up with voter ID during a pandemic, a, a three-day extension, okay, that is somehow a power grab. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Look, Pennsylvania has a requirement for first time voters to show their ID. Subsequent elections, you don't have to show your ID, but if you're a first time voter, uh, you do have to show ID. Now, it doesn't have to be a picture ID. Uh, it can be your driver's license, okay, or a pen dot card. Uh, and so there are people out there who don't have either, understandable. Um, and that's, again, that's part of voter suppression is making it difficult for people to get these things. Again, if you're an older person, if you're elderly, if you're poor, you, you know, rely, or you rely on public transportation, you really need your driver's license. Not necessarily. Or if you're disabled, you can't drive. Well, then you're not going to need a driver's license. And so, but you didn't, you do need it to vote or the pen DOT. Uh, card. So now if you go and you vote and you're in that situation and you know, they're going to tell you that you need some identification, you can fill out your ballot uh, and all that, but you're going to have to bring in at some point very soon before the deadline, some sort of valid ID, and then we will count your ballot. Well, again, this is during a pandemic, so you'd have to go to the Secretary of State, you'd have to fill out paperwork, you have to wait for people to do things. And everything governmental has been slowed down very significantly as a result of coronavirus. And so there's a good chance that you're not going to get there in time, even with the first extension. Now, the second extension was denied by the court. So even if you did turn in your identification between those uh, three days, well, I'm sorry, your ballot's not going to be counted. But again, that's not a large amount of ballots. And so it's not going to have uh, any sort of impact on the state.
So a very small group of people. Uh, the, the, look, these people, the amount of ballots, again, we don't know the exact number of ballots. Could be a couple hundred, could be a thousand. Biden has a lead of 55,000. You're not overturning the results as a result of this. No. Uh, and yet, she talks about, this is a great victory. Big victory for Republicans. For electoral integrity, we threw out 50 votes. Wow. Congratulations. But how is this an example, by the way, of election integrity? Those votes were thrown out were not proven to be fraudulent votes. This has nothing to do with voter fraud. This has nothing... This, has everything to do with just not being able to turn in your ID or, or show your ID. Doesn't mean that these were fraudulent votes, that these were fake people. Now, of course, Republicans will paint it this way, be like, oh, they threw out fraudulent votes. But no, there's no evidence of that either. They're basically declaring victory over essentially nothing. So, I mean, I, I guess if you want to do that, but that's dishonest. Uh, and so, I mean, it, it definitely disingenuous. Uh, but she's not the only one who's celebrating over nothing. You also had Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz went out there and called this a, quote, important legal victory. How? How is this an important legal victory? They're just saying that, uh, yeah, your, your powers as Secretary of State, you weren't able to make a second extension. Wow. Ooh, okay. Great. So this is look, this is this is desperation. And it's actually really sad. It doesn't even help your narrative at all. Again, it's not voter fraud, it's not people impersonating uh, other people or, or doing anything like that. I mean, if it were, if it were something more, they would actually point it out. Instead, they're making super vague statements because again, there's no evidence of any voter fraud involved in this in this election just no evidence at all and so in response to ted cruz and, and i love this right um pennsylvania attorney general josh shapiro goes and he points out this he's like the ruling affects a very narrow group of voters that had to up to today to provide their id um counselor i figured you knew how to read a judge's order let me help you one, it's a narrow ruling on a very few amount of ballots. Two, it doesn't affect ballots received by 11-6. Three, none of this changes the election results. Now, I know why they call you Lion Ted. Leave Pennsylvania alone. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.